Hey pals, welcome to Movie Gym. Recently, I watched a movie which I, you know, I, I told myself I have to make an intro for that. I believe it was the best movie that I watched in 2023. The Holdovers. 2023 genre comedy drama. The movie is a sad comedy. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. No one likes this teacher. Not his students, not his colleagues, and not even the headmaster. Who we'll all find his arrogance and rigidity irritating. During the Christmas holiday in 1970, with no family and nowhere to go, Powell decides to stay at the school to oversee students who cannot go home. After a few days, only one 18-year-old student, Angus, remains. He's a troublemaker, but a good student whose bad behavior always threatens him to get expelled. Alongside Paul and Angus is head cook Mary. Hello, Mary. I heard you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? An African-American woman who cooked for privileged students and recently lost her own son in Vietnam. These three disparate individuals become an unlikely Christmas family, sharing comedic misadventures during two snowy weeks in New England. The true journey lies in how they help each other realize that they are not defined by their pasts. They have the power to shape their own futures. Cross the Rubicon. The Holdovers. Paul Giamatti was incredible in this movie and I believe he deserves the Oscar this year. I've seen a few movies from him before this one, which in none of them he was the leading actor, he was the supporting one or the villain, like in the Cinderella Man or Shoot Him Up or The Illusionist. But this one really stands out. And Sideways, which I haven't watched yet, it seems it's one of the famous movies of the director and Paul Giamatti was the leading actor. The director of the movie is Alexander Payne. He's a brilliant director. Uh, we have seen already from him Nebraska with Bruce Dern and Bob Odenkirk and The Descendants with George Clooney and Bob Ishmith, the great Jack Nicholson. The Holdovers nominated in five different categories for this year's Oscar. Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Screenplay, Original Screenplay and Best Film Editing. IMDb rate 8, Rotten Tomato 97% from critics and 91% from audience. It means both critics and people likes the movie. So when you have this kind of rating, you can make sure the movie is not boring and at the same time it delivers high quality concepts. The Holdovers offers a delightful blend of comedy and wisdom revealing the deep-seated secrets that have molded Powell and Angus. Overall, The Holdovers proves to be an outstanding Christmas movie. But you don't have to wait till Christmas. Watch it now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you liked the movie if you watch it. Let me know if you like it in the comments and subscribe so you'll be the first one to know when the new video drops.